Well, welcome fourth graders. This is uh, May 13th, a new ZLA assignment. Okay, we'll share our screen. Okay. We go to our new ZLA tab. Go to our assignments. Again, we're on this 15th, 11th through 15th. We read about surfers. American and then we read about graphic novelists. Today we are going to read what it means to be Asian American. Remember I said this was Asian American Heritage Month. Okay, so our activities for this one, we have a power words, a right, two rights, you have two rights. This one says write a short paragraph that explains the central idea of the story. Uh, quiz, and then this last one says, describe how the author explains the issue of the use of the term Asian American. Okay, now, what you think that means, okay? What the author does. All right, so this says, there's a members of the Fairfax Chinese dance troupe wait beneath the umbrella for their cue to perform at Fiesta Asia, a cultural celebration on Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. That's near the White House. Okay, so this came from the newspaper, the Washington Post. It says, Washington, D.C., Fiesta Asia happens every year. It takes place in the nation's capital of Washington, D.C. The event honors Asian Americans. So you got power words here. The term Asian American includes people whose families are from dozens of different countries. The term is divided, has divided the community it was meant for, though. Some like belonging to a larger group. Others question the term. Hmm. Melissa de la Cuesta is, a seven, is 17 years old. She stands under a tent at Fiesta Asia. Melissa looks surprised when, she, when asked what she calls herself. She, isn't the answer obvious? I'm a Filipino American, she declares. She loves her family, loves that her family is from the Philippines. The Philippines is a nation of islands. It's in Southeastern Asia near the Pacific Ocean. About two thirds of Asian Americans are like Melissa, says the research group AAPI Data. It studies the population of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in the US. AAPI says that most people in this group identify with their family's country. So they're saying Philippine, Amer you know, country more than the bigger name, Asian American. That, that'll help you with the second writing. Who exactly is part of this group? There is another challenge. There is another challenge. It is not always clear who's part of this group. Many people think of Asian Americans as those whose families are from East Asian countries. These include China and Japan and Korea. Indian Americans and Pakistani Americans, for, for example, can be left out. India and Pakistan are still part of Asia. There are less well-known countries. Dina, Okamoto wrote the book, Redefining Race. She said many people do not like using Asian American. They believe it takes away from their individual culture. They don't believe it really captures who they are, Okamoto says. In the past, people identified with their family's country to escape unfair treatment. For example, Japanese Americans were put in prison-like camps in the US in World War II. Some Chinese Americans carried signs saying they were Chinese. They wanted others to know they weren't Japanese. The U.S. was at war with Japan. Things changed in, 18, in 1968. Activist and historian Yuji Ikicho, Ichioka created the term Asian American. Getting access to Asian American history, says Ichioka, has seen the black power movement make a difference. Akimoto says, in the 1960s, African-Americans joined together to fight for civil rights. 
Ichioka felt communities with Asian roots could also join together. Some people feel they do not have to choose one term. Jen Fong started the blog, Reappropriate. She uses Asian Americans. She also uses Chinese American. Fong says, using Asian American is popular among younger people. Often they learn the terms activist roots. Fong went to Cornell University. She describes an Asian American studies class there as mind blowing. In high school, she says, students read little about Asian Americans. This Cornell course had a 300 page textbook. It was all on Asian American history in the US. It takes going to college before any of us learn about the basics, she says, that she says is a problem. She thinks it's important to have a chance to learn about the history of Asian Americans and the way th they have changed the country. Okay, so this article, you know, when they get talking about the term Asian American, you know, Asia is a huge, huge continent. So like they said, people from India and Pakistan and other parts, sometimes weren't considered like Asian because they weren't East Asian, like China and Japan and Korea. So what you think, you'll use your power words, you'll do your right, give me the central idea of a quiz, and then you have the social study. Again, this one, it says, describe how the author explains the issue. Talk about this. It says, how the author explains the issue of the use of the term Asian American. And it shouldn't be too hard. Give me your thoughts, what you learned, read about it, and remember and we will talk to you later uh bye